Hello friends and welcome to the channel. This is Stormhaven Gaming where you can see great games played badly. I'm John and this is Timberborn. Now we have just entered a drought. I'm going to pause it for a second. We have just entered the drought. Uh, it's going to be seven days which isn't great but it isn't terrible. Um, everywhere is pretty much brimming with water. Uh, this area here is going to be our problem area, as usual. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch off two of these pumps. Um, and I'm going to switch that one back on. Um, yeah, that, that's the best bet. Because what I've done down here is I've set up a couple of additional uh, water pumps. I've, I've built a lagoon down here and I'm covering it up, basically. Um, because this district uh, got down to basically no water at all. Um, it's back up to 900 now because I've been sending in water from uh, other districts and I've built these uh, additional um, water pumps and I've prioritised them all uh, with the haulers. So hopefully they'll be alright through the drought. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, so District 1 and District 6 are both sending water. Uh, we'll stop that for the moment and hope that this district manages to maintain itself. Um, over here I've put in a distribution post for no other reason than I could. Um, basically just in case we needed to use this water to ship to other um, districts. That was my thinking. Um, uh, this district is doing okay. We're very short on, on wood again. Um, it might actually even be worth sending some logs over. We are already sending logs over. Where else? Oh, there's not really anywhere else we can send. I suppose we can send logs over from here, can't we? Are we sending logs over from here? We are sending logs over from here. Okay, so we have a definite log shortage in this district. Uh, despite all of these acres of uh, trees that we have planted. Not to worry. Um, over here, because we have uh, reached the limit of what we can do on this uh, levy, I've put in the basics of a new uh, district up here. Now, obviously, we're not going to set it going until the, the drought is over, um, but that will allow us to uh, get down onto here and, and finish this off. And uh, responding to a comment, um, and I can't remember off the top of my head who it was, I will put their um, username down in the um, uh, in the caption. Uh, they asked the very sen sensible question why I wasn't just using the back wall of this area as the wall of my reservoir, rather than building levees across there. Which is a very good point that I absolutely didn't have an answer to. Because, yeah, why why am I not doing that? Um, I'm an idiot, basically. And I, I didn't think about it. Yeah. Um, back over in District 11. As you can see, we are busily laying in uh, explosives. I'm trying to do it methodically. So let me just um, prioritise that strip there. Uh, I'm trying to do it in, in sort of blocks of five then deleting the um, path and laying in the explosives along there as well. Um, then I don't have to worry about um, the odd one and two missing. Um, yeah, down here, as I say, I am still trying to extend this uh, little pond uh, to get some more water. Uh, it is too deep, so uh, it should be somewhat protected from the, uh, from the drought. But yeah... Um, seven days. We'll see how we go. I'll come back at the end of uh, that seven days and we'll uh, we'll see how we're going. Okay, halfway through the doubt, uh, drought, so we can have a quick update. Um, we have some explosives to set off. There we go. Just setting this up um, so we can put in uh, the pump here. Uh, and drop that down into this area. Um, let's have a look. I will lay in those two bits and then I'll put in a platform to bring the path round uh, so we can lay the rest of these explosives here. 
Um, let's get rid of that. Right, uh, I did make a slight mistake. I forgot to close these until sort of the second day of the drought. Uh, so some of this water in this district uh, was let out. Uh, we only have one water pump on here. I have closed that floodgate. Um, so we have two water pumps uh, taking out of this section. Uh, as predicted, we are having problems over here. Uh, this isn't a very efficient way of, of keeping this section um, hydrated. As you can see, this bit in the middle just keeps drying out because we're trying to take uh, two pumps worth of water from this one um, tile deep channel. So it just goes almost immediately. Um, in this district, we're doing okay. Um, the water is dropping, obviously. Uh, I have taken some water out of this reservoir and some water out of this reservoir um, but that's not too bad uh, our explosives are almost complete um, hopefully by the end of the drought they will be yeah so that's where we are um, nobody's dying of thirst or hunger uh, this district which uh, I was worried about has plenty of water um, so it's, it's supplying itself nicely. Uh, this district still has plenty of water. So yeah, we're doing fine. Um, at the moment, we're doing fine, but we still have over three days of a drought left to go. So I'll see how those do, and uh, we'll come back at the, uh, the end of it. And there we are. The drought is over. The waters are going to start returning. Uh, we've done all right. We've managed to keep most of this... Uh, hydrated. Nobody's died of thirst. Uh, as, uh, yeah, th this district isn't great, obviously. Uh, currently has no water at all. Um, but we are sending it in from other districts, so it, it should arrive at some point today. Uh, nobody appears to be, well, apart from you, uh, nobody appears to be terribly thirsty, so we should be fine. Um... Yeah. Let's put everything up to its uh, its ready positions. Um, I've put in a, a another lumberjack up here to clear out this space because I'm thinking. Thank you, water safe. Uh, I'm thinking it might be an idea to use some explosives to maybe widen and deepen this section as well, so we've got a bit more water stored. Um during the drought. Um, long term it may even be worth putting in um, a levee wall up here, sort of in line with the, the floodgates and using dynamite to open all of this up to create a, a massive water store. But I mean we, we do have other large-scale projects going on at the moment as, as, as you are aware. Um, yeah, no, really, there were no problems. Um, the only the only real problem was was this district. Uh, obviously, the the water coming through here is only one tile deep, as I said, um, which means that these pumps only need to be on for about five minutes before that's completely drained. So we are going to need to uh, keep an eye on that. Obviously, once this is open, this is going to have plenty of water because there'll be, you know water pumps are plenty supplying it uh, and this is going to be possibly a district for supplying water to other districts as well but yeah I'm, I'm surprised how well that went I have put in some more storage down here uh, I've put in some more storage uh, up here um, I have put in a water dump up here and I'm going to extend uh, how far can I extend right up to the water dump Okay, that's what I'll do. Uh, I'm going to extend our maple planting right up to the water dump, like that. Um, I think it can get to that corner, looks like it. Yes, it can. Okay, so that'll be some more, uh, uh, more, more planting going in. We have another lumberjack over here anyway, so they'll be able to help um, cut that. Uh, and really, all we need to do now is wait for the water to return. So I will do that, uh, and I will come back, and then we will open up a new district.
So the water took its usual sort of three days to uh, to filter its way through, but everything seems to be uh, back online. Uh, just finished laying in these explosives, so we'll see how far we can get away with. There. Nah. Um, yeah, there, there have been absolutely no problems. Uh, I'm, su I'm very surprised how, how smoothly things are going. Um, now that the water's come back, this district's fine for water. Uh, everywhere else is fine. Um, the only issue we've had, as I say, is the, the wood in this district. We are getting through it at a, a heck of a rate. Oh, we've got a flood. No, that's fine. Um, yeah, this district hasn't flooded since I put this in, typically. Uh, this, this this drainage system just hasn't been used at all because this has decided now it's given up flooding now that we've got a, a mechanism to deal with it now over here I think oh I've got some explosives to uh, set off uh, I'm just working my way through basically um, bringing this back uh, so it's deep enough all the way along um, and then we could put in the, the deep water pump here. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where the best place to actually put the uh, the district gate in. Uh, and I think it's probably actually down here. This would probably be the best place to do it. Because that would give them free access to all of this um, section here. So I think that's what I'll do, but I'll, I'll wait until the explosives are laid in first, um, and we've we've opened all this up, ready for the deep water pump, uh, and then we'll send some beavers over. Okay, well that took a little bit longer than I'd hoped to set this up, but we have a water pump and another large uh, water tank here. Um, it's already half full, which is nice. I'm going to put in the district gate there which leaves a space for another um, water actually I'll put the district district gate in there which gives a space for another um, water dump and we've still got access to this space here for this district yes that's what I'm gonna do so let's pause it so we still have some daylight to work with get rid of this path we are going to if I can find it pop in a district gate now We only need five people at the moment, but we will need more. So, where do we have lots of people? Eight unemployed there. Twenty, okay, 24 unemployed over here. We will start here. Um, where is the district centre? It's right there. So, migrate to District 12 and we'll send over... Hmm. Let's send over 15. No, let's, send, let's be sensible. Let's send over 10 to start with. Um, wait till they get there. Is that going to work? Are you going to populate it? With pause. No, you're not. There you go. Okay, so we should have a path connecting the district centre. There we go. That's a start. Right now, nope, we'll pause it. Let's have a look. District 1. You're going to add a new route. And you're going to send... Water... Over here, at least initially. Um, yes, and you are also going to send... Logs. That's fine. Next this district where are we you don't have a lot of planks because you don't have a lot of logs so we'll leave that but over here we're already sending planks to district 9 we can stop that um, yeah so let's send over here when we want planks okay now food how are you doing for food? You have 2,721 food. I think you can spare some carrots. So, 
add a new root to their carrots. Right, I think that is all we will need to get this district up and running. We will put in um, a path out this way a little bit and pop in a woodcutter uh, or a lumberjack. Um, and we will get them to cut down just as many of these dead trees as they can reach. Uh, they should also come down and cut these if they can reach them, but we'll we'll see about that. Okay, um, we're also going to need some way of producing their own food. So we are going to need a farm up here, which means we're going to need a water dump. So let's lay in a path. Uh, let's get this district to send some explosives over. Uh, and we will lay in. There's probably good. Uh, and then we can lay in a, a farm in this uh, hydrated area once that's set up. Okay, 176, uh, 182 water, no food yet. Well, that 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 will change. Bread. There we go. Okay, I will spin on for a couple more days, um, get this farm set up, get some food coming into this district, uh, and then I'll be back. Right, we got this little district set up. Um, we've got carrots and potatoes and wheat planted. Uh, we're putting in some berries along here. We're putting in some maple trees along here. Uh, down here, I'm putting in a, a lumberjack uh, so we can get rid of all these trees down here. Um, putting in some stairs so they can actually get down to this level to get rid of this tree that's in the way of our uh, levee. Yeah. And... I mean, it currently doesn't have any wood at all, obviously. Uh, it is being sent wood, so it should get some momentarily. Has plenty of explosives, because I forgot to turn the explosives uh, off. But that's fine, because we'll want them anyway, eventually, because we'll want to lay them in down here and deepen this. So that's fine. Everywhere else, we seem to be doing okay. Um, this district, the water is dropping a little bit, but nothing too drastic um, wood is slowly increasing um, as these trees come in they're just being cut down pretty much immediately um, maybe it would be worth putting in another lumberjack or two I don't know might speed that up a little bit if I put one in up the end here then there's a good chance it'll come over and steal some of these trees as well so let's let's actually do that let's um, demolish those resources and we'll put in a lumberjack down here uh, and hopefully like I say they will come over and cut down these trees that aren't being cut because this district is replete with wood um, over here everything is good water is fine I've still I, I've kept these off I might as well turn them back on again now um, not that we need the water we are again replete with water uh, wood we are yeah, not doing too well on because we are obviously feeding all of these um, engines or, or four of these engines I think or is it just three? Oh it's just three uh, just these three engines here are being fed from this district uh, these five are being fed from this district and as you can see we are actually now getting through a bit more of this um, this plantation of, uh, of maple so that's good um, food we're not as good as we were uh, worryingly um, are we sending food anywhere we're not um, there is plenty to uh, to harvest yeah they're both set to the harvesting okay I'm going to what am I going to do I'm going to want to put in another farmhouse I think so Hmm, what's best to get rid of? Probably the wood. So, let's... Thank you. Um, let's clear ourselves a little patch there so we can put in another farmhouse uh, and harvest a bit more of this food. 
That seems sensible. Um, over here, have we got rid of this tree? We have. Right, let's put in a lumberjack. Okay. I think that's been a reasonably successful episode. Um, we haven't had any deaths, despite the uh, slightly longer drought than normal. Um, we handled it pretty well. Uh, we've set up a new district. A very modest district at the moment, obviously, but uh, its sole purpose at the moment is to get this finished, which we can now do a bit better. Let me um, just check. Okay, good. The the cutting isn't extending into this district, uh, this section here. So, in theory, that we won't get any beavers trapped on the wrong side and then not be able to figure out that there's steps down here. Yeah. But we will leave it there. Uh, as I say, a successful episode for a change. Um, please do give us a like and a subscribe, uh, as usual, if, if you enjoyed it and you would like to see more. Um, hints and uh, comments, gratefully received. Um, thank you to everyone who comments regularly. Um, really good to have a kind of community building up here. It's really, really good to good to see. Uh, really gratifying. So thank you for that. Um, give us a subscribe if you would like to see more episodes like this. Uh, check out the other videos on my channel. Um, I'm currently playing Transport Fever 2 and Satisfactory. Um, Satisfactory is, is great fun. Uh, so is Transport Fever 2 in a, in a nerdy kind of train set sort of way. Um, but yeah, please check those out. Um, join us next time. Uh, until then, I've been John. This has been Timberborn. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And bye-bye. Those explosions are getting laggier every time.